my ex left me, you know, she left me basically to die. No, yeah. I care about my good name. My sentencing, she wasn't there. My self-surrender, she wasn't there. Phaedra left me to basically rot. I know. It's Justin Diego back with another binge-worthy video. And since y'all still like the ghetto, let's talk about Sheree Whitfield using the money that she actually owes Drusidora to buy a Palo Nida coffee. And why this scene sent everyone into a frenzy when the conversation ended up being all about Apollo using his 15 minutes to slam his ex-wife, Phaedra Parks. And bravo, y'all ain't slick. We already know that this is the start of phase two of y'all's little plan to bring Faith Faith back. Y'all already know the drill. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, slam that bell button, and follow Bingeworthy on Instagram and the TikTok. These last couple of weeks, the show has been really given what what they supposed to. Wait, what did the kids say? It's been given what it's supposed. To, it's given what it's supposed to give. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm, I'm trying to say. <laughs> it was supposed to give what needed to be gave to the highest of giving. And last night's episode is no exception. That's why we have to talk about this moment between Apollo and Shiva Shere. And you know how long I've been working on Shiba Shiret. On right, and off, right. on and off. After having such a lackluster model call, I know Apollo has done some modeling before, and I think it would be dope to have him in my fashion show. First of all, all this is a lot. Like, since when were the two of you guys friends, of all people? And then, whose Rolls Royce did Apollo roll up in? And lastly, What's up with this scarf? <laughs> I have so many questions. Apollo and I have always been good friends. Girl, let me go call, let me go call my kids, honey, case <laughs> the something happened, honey. Well, we lost contact when he went to prison. No, because Bravo, hold up, hold up. Bravo, y'all really try to play in our face just then. And I don't like that. Come on, like, y'all really try to use that footage of uh, Miss, Miss Lawrence and <laughs> y'all try to add like that justified Sheree and Apollo being friends all this time. <laughs> I mean, I'll give y'all y'all props because of what we're going to get in the end, but... Bruh. Y'all know. <laughs> what the hell we going to do now? So anyways, long story short, Sheree ended up convincing Apollo to be in her little fashion show for She by Sheree that may or may not happen. And I just want to say, y'all are out of line for calling BS on this whole thing. With one Housewives fan making me scream on Twitter talking about Sheree, I know Apollo has done some modeling before. The model. <laughs> yeah, after they rushed through that and Apollo gave Sheree some advice about navigating prison bays, they got to the main reason why production scheduled this scene in the first place. When I went away, Phaedra was definitely cold-blooded. When my ex left me, you know, she left me basically to die. No, yeah. I care about my good name. My sentencing, she wasn't there. My self-surrender, she wasn't there. Phaedra left me to basically rot. I know. Yeah, I remember when all this was going down, Phaedra wanted nothing to do with it. I heard from my sources back then that Phaedra was actually refusing to film the show and they actually hired Apollo to get her to at least come on camera to defend herself because otherwise she allegedly was refusing to talk about this situation in front of the Bravo cameras at all. So it doesn't really surprise me that Apollo is still this petty, but I am actually shocked that he is this delusional and this bitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, all you can do is laugh. Housewives fans were feeling the same way, helping send Real Housewives of Atlanta trending on Twitter, even during the VMAs, with everyone shook that Apollo actually got a confessional. Tweeting, not Apollo getting a confessional! Exclamation point, exclamation point! And another Housewives fan responding, why does Apollo have a confessional? Phaedra must be coming back, and this will be her storyline. I mean, all right. 
before the conversation quickly shifted to folks speaking their mind about all this energy that Apollo had for Phaedra. Tweeting, this Apollo scene is extremely pointless. He got on here to bash Phaedra as if he didn't go to jail with a whole fiance. He treated Phaedra like mess and embarrassed her. Go away from me with this, Apollo. And another Housewives fan responding, haven't been watching Real Housewives of Atlanta, but I just caught the last few minutes in Apollo talking mess about Phaedra. He has got a lot of nerve, exclamation point. Bro, she has been raising your sons and they are going to be fine men, dot, 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 because of her in all caps, exclamation point. Maybe just shut the F up and be grateful with one fan adding Bravo directly saying, Bravo should be ashamed to be so scandalous to have a two-time convicted felon on the show speaking of an ex-housewife in that manner and speaking to a woman who got played by another convicted felon. This whole scene literally declassed the entire show before Luna tried to calm everybody down responding, he didn't trash talk her. He told the honest truth about her. Not sure how Phaedra still has a fan base considering all the snake things she's done on this show. And another fan wasn't feeling the whole thing talking about. I could have gone my whole life without seeing Apollo back on the screen. Yeah, black Twitter is out of control. Before long, the conversation shifted again to people getting in Sheree's behind. With a Drew fan tweeting, one thing about Sheree, she'll stay around these felons. She just got done with Tyrone, been clowning around with Marlo, and now we key in with Apollo? Question mark, question mark. You not tired of being around these clowns? And another Housewives fan responding, I personally find it evil for Sheree to bring back Apollo and the producers to allow him a confessional on a show that his ex-wife brought him on? Just for him to bash her with no way to defend herself? It's just so sad. Before somebody finally came to Sheree in Apollo's defense saying, I don't know, it's just messy reality TV. She was allowed to use him going to jail for a storyline, so Sheree should be able to allow Apollo to do the same. And this girl had me screaming with this tweet talking about, hate to admit it, but Apollo is still fine. I actually agree with fans that are giving Bravo the side eye for this little stunt because we see what y'all trying to do, but at the same time, can you even be mad? You know, Carly, I've I, I really been your friend for a while, but she's starting to piss me off. I can't help but think about how time and time again, Bravo has indicated that Phaedra is back in their good graces. First, it was her being casted on season two of The Ultimate Girls Trip, which is essentially a Real Housewives all-star spinoff. After that, Phaedra has been plastered all over their blog, she's been invited to watch what happens live, and she's essentially back on their payroll, so it would only make sense for them to just go ahead and bring her back to the show at this point. And I believe that even though this scene was not exactly favorable to Phaedra Parks, it definitely opens the door for them to go ahead and pick up here with a cute little Phaedra versus Sheree beef about it if they start filming next month for the new season, which the blogs are allegedly seeing. That is the plan. And apparently Bravo seems to think so too, with them getting Phaedra to discuss her thoughts about this scene way before it aired. The him hanging out with Sheree, honey, if it makes him some money, he can buy these children some, some shoes and some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> honey, hang out with Sheree, hang out with Nick, hang out with whoever you need to hang out with to get a check. <laughs> there you Bring go. Bring it to mama. They also did a phone interview asking her about it again after the episode aired and Phaedra kept it cute. 
Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. Do you think that Sheree needs to focus her energy on Shiba Sheree and stop bringing Apollo back if he's just gonna sit there and bash Phaedra? And be sure to let me know your thoughts about whether or not this might have been a scheme that Sheree set up to come to us next season with Phaedra Parks. You can stop saying that shit. I know that. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. Oh, y'all, I am so exhausted putting out all of these videos. <laughs> and y'all really been turning on me in the comments, hurting my little feelings, but that's okay. Y'all don't gotta like everything I say. And we don't always have to be in agreement. <laughs> I'll just cry myself to sleep and maybe leave again. <laughs> mm. B-F-F-R. What did that spell? B fucking for real. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere, especially when these girls are giving us all this content. Anyways, thanks again for watching this video. I will see y'all on the next one. What we doing? Keep it moving. What we doing? Don't play no games with me, I promise I'm too much. Ay, I can never let up even if you had enough. Ay, this ain't for the faint of heart, we always playing rough.